your spirit and fall afresh on us. Fill us with your power, Lord, and fill us with your love. Lord, send your spirit and... Um, I think it's well documented that when Pope Francis first encountered the charismatic renewal, he didn't really like what he saw. He's told this story on many occasions. And he says, I didn't like it because it seemed to me like some sort of samba school. <laughs> now, depending on where I am in the world, I say, that's a Latin American dance. But I think in Australia, you know what a samba is. He said, and, and, and I really didn't like it. But then he goes on to say that after some time, I changed my mind. And he said, I changed my mind when I saw all the good that these people do. And I think that there's something very significant in that, you see, because when Cardinal Bergoglio, or maybe Archbishop Bergoglio, first saw the renewal, saw it, he saw it superficially. And a superficial glance at some charismatic meeting, depending on what part of it you're glancing at, it can look like a bunch of crazy people. <laughs> it can have similarities with a dancing school. Um, and, you know, if, if you think, well, is that supposed to be church? You can make all sorts of judgments. But what Francis is saying is he changed his mind when he saw the fruit. So it's by our fruits that w w we need to be seen because the fruit is the richness of what the Lord has given us. I just want to share with you, because this moved me very much, that Pope Francis actually told that story that I've just shared with you at the priest retreat we had um, a year and a half ago in Rome. Uh, again, this was part of the journey to the Jubilee. We held the third worldwide priest retreat, and um, it was in Rome for four days. Some priests came from Australia. It was a wonderful occasion. When we were preparing the priest retreat, we had the old way of doing things in mind. So we imagined you have the retreat on the final day, the priests go to St. Peter's, and the Holy Father comes, and they all celebrate the Mass together. We forgot Pope Francis does things differently. So when we began to work through with the papal household the, the details of the retreat, I remember very well one day a message came to me and the message was, the Holy Father doesn't think it's a good idea for the priests to go to St. Peter's for Mass. Full stop. And I was thinking in that moment, um, there must be more to this than there appears, you know. And so in dialogue, what, what the Pope was saying was, no, he said, I don't think that's a good idea because that's what always happens. And people go along with all, all, what always happens and there's less expectancy. That's what he said. So he said, I'll come to the priest's retreat. I'll come. So he looked at the program, and on the Friday of the priest retreat, it was the Feast of the Sacred Heart. He said, I'll come on Friday. I'll, I'll come, I'll, I'll slip in in the afternoon. He said, slip in. <laughs> oh, you just sit down, nobody will notice, you know. He said, he said I'll slip in in the afternoon. Uh, I'll talk to the priests very simply, he said. Um, I, I, I'm happy to take questions. He looked at me, he said, no need to prepare anything. Of course, I prepared everything. Um, he said, and then, after I've spoken with the priests, after we've taken questions, I'll celebrate a very simple mass. Like the sort of mass you share with the, your friends at the end of a long day. So we don't need a line of cardinals. I'll celebrate on my own with the priests. He said, we don't need uh, a big liturgy. We'll just make it very simple because it's the feast of the sacred heart. And I just, I don't want to get diverted into sharing with you all the details of that, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. 
But in his dialogue, in his, he's speaking with the priest, he, he, you know, like he promised, he came very simply. He sat at the front of the, we were in uh, the Lateran Basilica uh, in, in Rome. Uh, the priests were all before him. He sat at a table at the front. And it's as if he just looked up and started speaking for more than an hour and a half, just touching on so many points. But he told that story about the Samba school. And why I want to share it with you is because it was, for me, I learned something. Because he was sitting down. We were, we were all seated. So he's on their level. And he said, you know, as you know, when I first met the renewal, I didn't like it. I thought it was some kind of Samba school. And then he looked at his priests and his bishops, and he said, but I was wrong. I was wrong. And as he said that, I was sitting very near where the Pope was, and I looked, and I just thought, what a model of leadership. What a model of humility. That the Holy Father, in front of his cardinals, his bishops, and his priests, could simply say, I was wrong. And in that moment, I prayed to the Lord, and I prayed, Lord, would you please give me the humility to be able to say publicly when I need to, I'm sorry, and I was wrong, or I didn't get it right, or whatever. Because on that day, I just felt the Holy Father modeled that so beautifully. Lord, send your spirit and fall afresh on us. Fill us with your power, Lord, and fill us with your love. Lord, send your spirit and fall afresh on us. 